You shall go down, you shall be found. You shall go down, you shall be found. You shall go down, you shall be found. Shalom. Welcome to part three of Who is Yeshua, the Messiah? In the previous segments, we uh, went over some scriptures. Uh, two segments ago, in part one, we went over Numbers 23, 19, for Samuel 15, verse 29 in the Old Testament, and then chapter four of Deuteronomy. And then in the previous segment of part two, we went over Genesis, uh, chapter 18 and 19 and uh, Exodus 33 so that actually brings us to part 4 of this overall segment on who is Yeshua who is the Messiah Jesus Christ if we go straight to the gospel of John the New Testament in verse 18 of the first chapter we read about how no one has ever seen God, Elohim, for it is God the only Son who is close to the Father's heart, who has made him known. We find that this uh, particular verse or scripture relates to a uh, part one of this overall uh, package deal. You know, part one of this overall segment we talked about Numbers 23 19, 1 Samuel 15, verse 29, and Deuteronomy 4 in the Old Testament how no one has ever seen God that no one can actually see God in this present life of this physical realm and actually live but yet at the same time you know Almighty God Yahweh reveals himself to Abraham and to Moses you know through the memory of Almighty God through Yeshua and once again in the New Testament in uh, the book of Timothy chapter 6 I charge you to keep the commandment without spot or blame into the manifestation of our Lord Yeshua Jesus, the Messiah, which he will bring about at the right time. He who is blessed and the only sovereign, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. It is he alone who has immortality and dwells in unapproachable light whom no one has ever seen or can see. And that's in First Timothy uh, chapter 6 verse 16 and then we go back to the original Torah in the Old Testament in Exodus 24 verses 9 10 and 11 then Moses and Aaron and Adam and 70 of the elders of Israel went up and they saw the God of Israel Once again in the original Hebrew translation, and the 70 elders of Israel ascended and they saw the God of Israel. They saw the God of Israel. Elohim. But remember, in the previous segment in chapter 3, uh, we talked about Genesis uh, chapter 33. In the particular verse where Yahweh, Elohim, reveals himself to Moses and says, You cannot see my face. A man cannot see me and live. This also reveals to us, reveals to us that there are different forms, uh, different uh, portions of Yahweh's spirit. The Ruach HaKadosh, Holy Spirit, revealing through that memory. Of, of, of Elohim through Yeshua. Of course, that full portion of uh, the unapproachable light uh, will destroy us in this uh, present uh, physical realm. But of course, this was way before the incarnation of that particular portion of Yahweh's spirit, revealing through that memory, and before you know, that incarnation revealing to the earth as Yeshua. For we know that Yahoshua or Yahshua, Jesus, means, you know, Yahweh or Yahweh salvation, meaning Jehovah, Jehovah Savior. Then we go back into the New Testament and the Gospel of John. 
It talks about the Word became flesh. The Word being Yahweh or Yahweh himself. Meaning revealing himself as you know, Yahweh, Jah the Father, or Jah Savior through uh, the Son. And both the Father and the Son are one entity of Almighty God, Elohim. You know, one God, one Yahweh. But it talks about in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him. And without Him, not one thing came into being. What has come into being in Him was life. And the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness. And the darkness did not overcome it.